Drapani, Sicily, formerly known as Drapanum, is a town on the west coast of Sicily. Drapanum was a strategically important fishing port and the launching point for the nearby Egodi Islands. The town was named Drapanum, the Greek word for sickle, due to its curved harbour. Trapani adapted the traditional Genoan pesto, which is green, to make the red pesto alla trapanese. Today, Trapani's economy depends on the local maritime industry and fishing. It also exports salt, marble and marsala wine, which is a local fortified sweet wine. To learn more about La Bella Sicilia, consider subscribing. Trapanum was founded by the Elemi as the port serving Eryx, now Eriche. The Elemi shared western Sicily with the Sicani and the Phoenicians and the Greeks. The key Elemi cities were Segesta, nearby Eryx, Eriche, and Entella, near Codleone. Trapanum, which would later become Trapani, was one of the smaller Elemi towns. The Elemi typically made alliances with Carthage and this caused regular tension with the Greeks who had also colonised Sicily and especially tension with those from Salinas, Selenunte. There were frequent boundary disputes and eventually this triggered outright war with Salinas around 580 BC. The Elemi unwisely allied with the Romans during the First Punic War to fight the Carthaginians. Carthage took the opportunity to seize control of Drapanum in 260 BC. They made it a key naval base and fortified the city. The prolonged campaign between the Romans and the Carthaginians focused on Drapana, Trapani and Lilibium between 249 to 241 BC. The naval battle took place just off the western coast of Sicily. It was fought between the Carthaginian navy of Adherbal and the Roman navy of Claudius Pulcher. Pulcher had blockaded nearby Lilibium by sea. He attacked the Carthaginian fleet which was moored in Drapana harbour. The Roman fleet attempted a surprise nighttime attack but became separated in the dark and in the confusion of battle. Adhedbal's fleet quickly took to sea to avoid being trapped in the harbour. Seizing the initiative and taking advantage of the Roman confusion, the Carthaginian fleet quickly counterattacked. The Roman fleet was soon pinned against the coastline, taking heavy casualties to the Carthaginian ships, which proved more manoeuvrable and benefited from having much more experienced crews. The Battle of Drapana was Carthage's greatest naval victory in the First Punic War. The Roman fleet spent seven long years recovering from this crushing defeat. The consequence was that Carthage could easily and regularly resupply these two besieged ports from sea completely unopposed. Pulcher, the Roman naval commander, was charged with treason after the defeat and was lucky to avoid being executed. He was exiled instead. In 241 BC, after a long delay, the Romans returned with a new fleet led by Lutatius Catulus and the siege of Drapana resumed. A Carthaginian fleet was sent to support the town but fell into a trap, was attacked and sunk during the Battle of Aegates Island. The Battle of Aegates ended the First Punic War. This left Drapana under Roman control in 241 BC. Mount 
Eric's area chair blocked land access to Drapana. Both armies, Carthaginian and Roman, contested the land access to Drapana, but Rome won outright here also. At this time, the Roman fleet dominated the West Mediterranean and had quite some control of the remainder of it. Invasions by Vandals, Ostrogoths and Byzantines caused Drapanum to be incorporated in the Eastern Roman Empire from 395 AD. Occasional coastal raids escalated into the Muslim conquest of Sicily in 827 AD. The Emirate of Sicily had begun. Drapanum was renamed Tarabanis as the west of Sicily quickly gave in to the new Muslim rulers. Tarabanis fell to the Norman forces of Roger I of Sicily in 1097. Trapani flourished under the Normans as this was used as a key port for troops making their way to the Crusades. In 1282 the Sicilians rose up against Charles of Anjou during the Sicilian Vespers and brutally wiped the Angevin rulers and soldiers from the island. Peter III was remarkably quick to answer the request for support from the Sicilians. His fleet was moored nearby on the North African coast and landed in Trapani to an effusive welcome. The Sicilians elected Peter III as their king. The outraged Pope Martin IV immediately excommunicated King Peter and requested the support of Philip III of France in raising a soon-to-fail crusade against the Aragon kings. Trapani suffered a further naval siege as part of the wider War of the Sicilian Vespers conflict. Philip I of Taranto moved to besiege Trapani but was defeated and imprisoned by Frederick II, King of Sicily, at the Battle of Falconaria. Philip I prepared to invade Sicily with his Neapolitan army. In 1299, Philip I arrived with ships and troops to blockade Trapani from land and sea. Frederick II marched with his troops from Castro Giovanni, Enna, to liberate Trapani. The armies of Philip and Frederick met on the plain of Falconaria between Marsala and Trapani. During the battle, Philip fell from his horse and was quickly taken prisoner. Fearing their king was dead, his troops quickly retreated. Frederick marched his triumphant troops into Trapani. Ligny Tower was built in the 1600s. It was a coastal watchtower to look out for Barbary Corsairs. In 1820, revolution began in Sicily and in Naples against King Ferdinand I of the two Sicilies. He committed to a constitutional monarchy. The Holy Alliance of Austria, Prussia and Russia rejected the spread of liberalism and the rise of secular states and moved against these upstart revolutions. The Sicilian Revolution of 1848 rose up to protect the new liberal constitutional monarchy but was brutally put down by the Bourbons. The damage was done. A man called Garibaldi had noticed that it was time for a change. The time for Risorgimento. When he did arrive, Garibaldi would land in nearby Marsala. Trapani was heavily bombed during World War II due to its strategically important harbour. The damage was extensive. It now it thrives due to tourism in the area with nearby Eriche, Segesta and the Egadi Islands. Three legends and myths relate to Trapani. A sickle was dropped by the goddess Demeter as she desperately looked for her daughter, Persephone. Persephone had been abducted by Hades. 
The sickle, when it fell to ground, it formed the curved harbour at Trapani. Kronos dethroned his father, Oranos, the god of the sky, using a sickle, which, when it fell from the sky, created the curved harbour at Trapani. The Roman name for Kronos was Saturn. Saturn was the patron god of Trapani. A statue of Saturn can be found in the centre of Trapani. Virgil's great work, the Aenid, states that Trapani was the location of the death and the resulting funeral games of Anchises, the father of Aeneas, as he fled Troy to set up the city of Rome. Trapani is one of the traditional locations for the Matanza, a traditional method for tuna fishing. This activity has now lapsed due to overfishing in the area. The, nat the natural reserve at Trapani is managed by the WWF. The return of the traditional environments, including the traditional means of salt making, is also encouraging the return of different types of migratory birds.